All right, so we're moving on. You should have your line art for your face. Remember, we're thinking about kind of a stacking order where we start with the base layer first, the face, and we're building on top with eyes, nose, and mouth. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the eyes. It's a little bit tricky. So pay very close attention to the steps I do. Every little step counts, and there's a lot of little steps in there. And if you forget to copy something or paste something, it'll mess you up, okay? So take your time. Just kind of work through it with me. And uh, let's first, let's do a color palette. So we have our color palette layer here. I'm going to turn that on, right? Eyeball on. These were our skin tones. I'm going to zoom in to my eyes a little bit. So just clicking and dragging. Hold my space bar so I can see the palette. And let's see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more space bar like that. OK. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my selection tool. And I'm going to take this top box from our skin tone color palette. Now technically, since we saved these, you can get rid of them. But I think it's nice to keep them there just in case. Anyhow, I'm going to hold Option and then Shift and drag that over, okay? What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to eye drop color from the eye. Now, my eye, right, my picture right now is not a perfect resolution. You can see it's a little bit blurry, so this isn't going to be perfect. But I'm going to eye drop just to get a starting color. And I think that gray is too dark. I want a little more blue, so... I'm going to switch over to the swatch right here, double click, and I'm just going to come in to the blue like this, and I can see the color changing here. I'm going to lighten it up, um, maybe come down here. I think I'm going to go with more of that color, kind of a season to taste. I might even come in and get a little more green maybe, right? A little more green, a little less gray, a little more green. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm looking at it, and... I'm going to take another one of these. I'm going to Option, Shift, kind of drag that over, line it up with that one. And I see kind of a dark ring, right? Usually there's a dark ring around the iris. So I'm going to eye drop this color. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to darken that up a little bit. All right. Now, yours obviously, if you have different colored eyes, aren't going to be these colors. But the technique is the same, right? The concept's the same. One last one, you notice there's a little bit of brown in there. So let's take this one. I'm going to option drag that over, hold shift, line it up. And then that's a little bit of brown. You can try to eye drop it. So I can eye to eye drop and kind of get in there. And it's not bad. I'm going to double click. I think it's a little too dark. So I'm just going to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I think mine is going to be a little bit lighter. Now with my selection tool, the black arrow, I'm going to highlight all three of those. And right now they're not lined up. They don't have to be, but we do have some tools up here like horizontal line center just to make it look nice. This again is a review of earlier tutorial, but with those three highlighted, we create a new color group. And we can call that eyes and click OK. It gives us a color palette. You notice we have the skin tone one for before, the eye colors there. Good habit to get into to create your custom palettes, right? We might later on, we're doing the mouth, for example, maybe do a lip palette, right? So it's just good habit to get into creating these separate palettes for each one. Now that we don't need this anymore because we've saved it here, I can lock it and turn the visibility off. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about um, tracing the eye and a lot of the little details that go into making it look realistic.